This is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm senior airman Alina Richard. Every troop in Afghanistan makes sacrifices, some more than others. These troops left recovering from their experiences now find a place to rest in Kandahar. Built from the ground up, the opening of the new warrior recovery complex is a positive step towards helping wounded military members recuperate. A few patients come through and they're, in, they're so happy. They said finally they have a place that they, it feels comfortable and they feel safe and that they're getting good care. I love being a nurse and I like caring for people and setting things up for them and so they can have a future because I've gotten to see what happens when they don't get good care. The WRC involved a number of units to complete construction and support from the USO. Staff Sergeant Tom Skingel, Kandahar, Afghanistan. And in Bagram, fresh graduates from Afghan military basic training find themselves turning wrenches on heavy vehicles. This is an ordinary Humvee. There are many like it, but what makes this Humvee different from the others is who maintains it. He's saying back and forth and uh, conduct a workshop. He was working as a mechanic uh, back there, but he says I was not good that well. When I got up here and I started learning new things, and now I got a little bit experience. Sergeant Shaw believes part of a 45-day course that teaches a and to become qualified master mechanics and go back to their home unit to teach their fellow soldiers. Here is a great opportunity and a great chance for me, and second, I'm getting experience. All the Humvees used during the course will be given to the Afghan National Army to be used in the field. Specialist David Ennis, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. And that's your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Senior Airman Alina Richard. Thanks for watching.